Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's quick tip video, I wanna cover why you might not be seeing all of your data in Tableau Prep, okay? Um, so first of all, I'm working in Tableau Prep Builder and I've connected to a pretty large data set of 311 calls, I think in New York City. So, you know, when somebody has a sewer issue or a lighting issue, whatever that might be, they call 311 to sort of log the issue and get help. Um, so what, what happens though, is if, if I'm working on this data, like if I had a clean step after my input, um, I may not see all of my data. In fact, I think there are like multiple million records. Um, and you can see if I zoom in here, I am only seeing 246,000 rows. So this is actually sampled data. So first of all, let's talk about how and why does sam data get sampled. Um, so what Tableau Prep is trying to do is to create an optimal experience for you as the developer and trying to load and process and perform operations against millions and millions of records is not always very optimal from a performance standpoint. So what Tableau Prep will do is if your data source is large enough, then it will automatically sample it. And when I say large enough, I don't know if there's strict guidelines around that, but I think that this, I usually see this happen if there's like multiple million records or if you have tons of columns, like 50, 100, 200 columns, uh, this can happen, okay? So first of all, where is this happening or where can you see this? So if, you're, if you select the input step and then go to the data sample tab, uh, it will show you what Tableau is doing to sample it. So first of all, it's using the default sample amount, which you can learn more about through that info button. And then it's doing a quick select, which is essentially like grabbing the top number of rows. So if it's grabbing the top 200,000 rows and my data is chronological, then I'm getting my earliest data, but not necessarily a good representation of all of my data. So you can change some of this. You can force it to use all your data, or you can say, hey, I really want at least a million rows. Um, and then you can also choose whether you want that quick select or if you want a random sample. So the random sample is going to grab your data, you know, more dispersed throughout the data set instead of just those top rows. Okay. So what kind of effect does this have if you're seeing sampled data? Well, first of all, if you are looking at, let's say, a descriptive field like agency name, I might not be seeing all of my agencies, right? There could be some agency names which didn't get into the sample, but do exist. So if I'm writing calculations against these values or doing groups against these values, I'm actually, you know, in, in this case, grouping against an incomplete list, which you could imagine could have issues down the road. If you have a list of agency names and some of them are typos, but some of the typos didn't show up in the sample. So you get to Tableau Desktop and you're like, oh no, what is going on here? I thought I cleaned everything up, right? You, you could have that kind of situation occur. So a couple options. I mean, you could kind of force through all your data. Um, sometimes what I'll do is just deselect a bunch of columns I don't need, then bring all of the data through on some names like that that I want to group, do the grouping, come back here, set it back to a sample so it works well, and reselect all my columns. Okay. Um, other effects of this is if you ever use the preview in Tableau Desktop, like if you right click on any step after you've done some cleaning or you know relationships or joins, whatever it might be, if you preview in Tableau Desktop, this preview is only going to show your sampled data. It's not going to show your full data set. Uh, so one piece of good news is that you know once you configure an output step, whether that's a local output, whether that's a server output, the output will contain all of your data, even if it's sampled here in Tableau Prep. So that's not something that you really need to worry about. The output should have everything, um, whether you're seeing it or not, as you're performing um, your operations in Tableau Prep. So uh, cool, I hope that helps you understand why you might not be seeing all of your data. Um, if you're looking for a little bit better performance, I'll add a video here uh, in the end card, um, but you may wanna use the web-based version of Tableau Prep to see a little bit better performance, especially if you're bringing in a lot, a lot of data. So uh, cool, thanks for following along with the One Number YouTube channel. We'll have another quick tip for you here next week. Talk to you soon.